Check this out, guys. A quick sneak peek of the 2023 Hyundai Palisade limited trim, premium Napa leather with those digital screens compared to the XRT trim, premium Napa leather with the digital screens. And we're gonna be doing a review. Let's go ahead and show you guys that. Now here on the left is the 2023 Hyundai Palisade limited trim. And we're gonna be comparing it over to the 2023 Hyundai Palisade XRT trim. And we're gonna be talking about exteriors, interiors, and some specs about both these cars. But before we do, it is not a sponsored video. So if you guys do like our content, please like the video, smash that subscribe button because we really appreciate your guys' support here at Vagabond Builds. Also, if you got something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us so we can talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Roseville Hyundai for providing us both of these cars for this review. Now guys, stay tuned, keep watching. We're gonna be dropping those MSRP stickers and the price tags to the exact car so you guys get an idea of what exactly comes with the car and the price tag on it. So you guys don't even have to leave your guys' house. All right, now let's go ahead and start this review. So let's kick it off with some spec review. Now, the only reason I popped one of the hoods on both these cars is because you got the same exact specs. Now, this comes as a 3.8 GDI V6 gasoline powered engine. And a little bit about the horsepower. Horsepower comes 291 horsepower and 262 foot pounds of torque. Eight speed automatic transmission. Now, both these cars in this review are both front wheel drive, but you also have an option of getting all wheel drive. And my best advice to anybody would be get the all wheel drive option. Now, depending on either trim that you get, you get the same exact standard engine. All right, let's go ahead and shut that hood and talk front end of the new 2023 Palisades. Now, both of them are pretty much the same, just the difference between the XRT and over to the Limited, you're gonna be seeing some minor differences. Now the XRT is a lower trim, okay? That's the trim right before the Limited, and it's gonna have more of a rugged off-road look. So this lower fascia here is going to have these kind of cuts in the bottom, and you're not going to have the 360 camera on the XRT. Uh, you get that on the Limited, so no camera. Grill pretty much looks the same. Lighting, same exact thing. We kept the lights for you guys to see, LED premium lighting on these cars, and I'm just liking these new front end looks. Over to the Limited, you got the camera integrated with the bumper sensors integrated, which you don't have on the XRT, no bumper sensors. And the fascia, check this out, a little bit different, more kind of premium, higher quality feel on the Limited, being a higher trim package. Now let's go over to the side. On the side, we get about the same idea, parking markers, wheel well trims, both in that matte black plastic. If we drop down over to the rims, we're both running 20 inch rims, but the only thing that you're going to be seeing different is the different style rims from different trim packages. Okay, this is kind of a gunmetal gray with a machine surface, different look on the Limited compared to the XRT, where you got the 20 inch just in that black gloss uh, paint on that rim, all right? Now, continuing forward, on the limited side mirror, of course, you're going to have that camera right under that side mirror. You get the blind spot assist. That is also standard on the XRT, but no camera. So you don't get, again, that 360 camera view uh, on the XRT. Lighting is pretty much the same, and of course, the same color on the side mirrors. Anybody wants to know this exterior color is called the Abyss Black exterior paint color. Continuing forward, we get doorknobs that look different. The XRT is blacked out in the same color as the car to where the Limited is that metallic silver, giving it more kind of a bougie, high, higher class feel. Over to the bottom, remember I was saying it looks a little bit more off-road, rugged look. The XRT comes with those cuts in that lower rocker panel area, giving it that kind of off-roady look to where this is a little bit more classy, doesn't look like so much you wanna take it off road, but just a kind of uh, chrome silver look with finishing with that matte black plastic. Get a load of the side of the cars, the cuts that come in through the doors that lead us over to the back of the car or the rears. Now on top of the cars, you're gonna have the metallic silver roof rails to where these are blacked out, okay? 
to the rear end, you do get the backup cameras on the right over the um, license plate. And then same on the XRT, both get bumper sensors, rear bumper sensors for both cars. Lighting is pretty much the same XRT stamp. That's how you're gonna know the trim level to where this doesn't have the limited, it just has Palisade. And the lower bumper fascias, different colors, different look. This is kind of a matte gray on the limited. All right, backup lighting there with your dual tip exhaust. Over to the XRT is that kind of just black paint finish with that matte black plastic. You still get that dual tip exhaust. Let's go ahead and pop these tailgates open so you guys get an idea. Now, third row seating, we are on the XRT, and what we're gonna be seeing is difference in the panel here, all right? This is a second row seat drop. Let's go ahead and press that. All right, and we are going to manually drop the third row seating. All right, and you gotta manually pick those up with your guys' hooks, of course, uh, 12 volt outlet, 180 watt and some personal space here. Let's go ahead and show you guys over to the Limited. And pretty much the bigger difference here is the extra third row controls. So you can pick that third row up and it's electric controlled. So it's not manual, which is a whole lot more convenient with the 12 volt 180 outlet. And of course the Harman Kardon subwoofer that you don't get in the XRT. Let's go ahead and drop both of those. What's nice is you just press the button once and they fully go down. A lot of space, so if you guys need space for like carrying a dishwasher or bikes or snowboards or skis or uh, you know strollers or anything, you will not have a problem with the Palisade because you can drop those second row seats. You can literally sleep back here if you're taking the car off-roading or camping. All right, so now that we're pretty much done showing you guys a comparison of the exterior and some of the trunk space on the interior, let's go ahead and talk front side interior. Now sitting on the interior side of the 2023 Hyundai Palisade Limited trim. Now we're sitting in the Limited and right off the bat, everybody, I'm just gonna show you guys some differences. Harman Kardon surround system, you get in the Limited, but not in the XRT. You get the memory seating settings in the Limited, but not the XRT. Heads up display, you get it in the Limited, but not in the XRT. Ventilated and heated steering wheel, okay? You get these in the Limited, but not the XRT. The XRT just comes heated. You get the parking button, but the parking button, of course, when you do go ahead and press it, it gives you the 360 to where the XRT will not give you the 360 view. Up top, you get the dual uh, sunroofs. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Open that visor. In the XRT, you do not get both sunroofs, all right? So the Limited gets that extra dual glass. And the sleets are slightly different up here with the more richer trim look and the colors, depending on what you get in the XRT, that will range from trim to trim. Now let's go ahead and continue with showing you guys the door panel. Get the black coming in with that kind of brown look and that off-white cream interior. Very nice, kind of bougie, high-class feel switches for your side mirrors and your windows. Now that side mirror does come auto dimmable and heated. On the left hand side of your manual steering column, you get traction control with the auto dimmable uh, lighting for your dash. You get the button for the tailgate and your parking button. 12.3 inch digital cluster. Let's go ahead and show you guys that let's try to display but all right digital you could change the look on that if you go into the infotainment screen but since the door is open it keeps going to that right behind this heated steering wheel wrapped in leather that napa leather you get paddle shifters control units for the windshield wipers and the lighting and in front of you here is the infotainment screen 12.3 inches also let's go ahead and go home and very responsive on the touch sensitive I'm gonna show you guys the map, kind of give you guys an idea. We go ahead and split that screen or not split it. So you guys get that full 12.3 inches. And of course, on the limited, you're going to have uh, slight upgrades in the tech. So if we do go, for example, into the setup and vehicle, you're gonna get things 
you know, all around here and your safety features and all that good stuff on this car. But for the sake of the time of the video, we're not gonna go into that. Shoot over to Roseville Hyundai, Hyundai, sorry, not Hyundai, but, um, and they will have people to spend time with you. Right under that, you get your manual buttons to control that front infotainment screen also. All right, go into media and all that good stuff. Shut that off, go into map. Under that, you get your dual climate controls. Same thing on the limited over to the XRT. This is all the same rear climate. We go off, all right, go off and on if we wanted to. Continuing forward, drive mode, you get the same four drive modes, smart, eco, comfort, and sport. We're gonna leave it in comfort, but you get, and you get kind of a difference in the cluster when it's changing through, all right? Auto hold, toggle switch, exactly the same look with these buttons. Of course, these are, I mentioned these. Now, textured feel on the design with the inlays on top of the center console. Same exact look with that push in the cap. And you get wireless charging pads in both for your phones. So XRT and Limited get that wireless charging pad. USB-A plugins, you can slide these cup holders closed. And then if you needed the cup holders, you push those open. Very cool and convenient. Removable tray, USB-C plug-in, and a 12 volt, 180 watt plug-in as well. Now, seats full electric controlled, perforated uh, Napa leather with the beautiful stitching, giving it more kind of a sporty, also luxurious. So it's not all luxurious. You get the, you know, bucket bolsters that kind of let you know that you're sitting in the seat and they're hugging you. In front, straight to the point, glove compartment, and up top, of course, tilt slide option sunroof with that slide option visor that will be different from the limited to the XRT. Now let's go ahead and talk second and third row seating in this limited trim. Now second row seating on the limited trim of this Palisade and major difference is right off the bat, you get heated and ventilated seats in the back of the limited Palisade. You get the 115 volt inverter that you do not get in the XRT. And again, these seats here on the second row are electric controllable from that back panel there. Now you can bunny hop this seat forward. You can fold it forward and maneuver it forward however you please. By the levers on the side, you could drop this. All right, now let's go ahead and put this seat up just a bit. And you could drop that forward or you can button right here near your shoulder, all right? And you can bunny hop this seat forward, which leads us over to the third row seating. Let's go ahead and pop this forward and lift these, all right? I'm gonna lift that one and lift this one. All electric controlled, very nice and convenient. Now, Let's go ahead and pull these back and do a space test. Now I'm about six feet, two inches. Nope. Let's get it kind of ideal position. About six feet, two inches. My head is touching the top. So you are gonna be putting the smaller people in the back. My knees are pretty clear for being a tall guy and um, they are touching. So again, you have heated seats third row with your USB-C plugins all right now cup holders on your right and left with the USB-C and electric controlled seating uh, you do get a simplified kind of look on the third row seats but that's normal from all majority of manufacturers will simplify their third row seating now before we head over to the XRT everybody we didn't do a space test on the second row seating. And of course, head clearance is there, all right? A lot of space, a lot of space, especially if we drop this angle on the seat so it gets you uh, really comfortable for that long road trip. Leg room is completely clear, all right? And then door panels look pretty much the same coming in over from the front to the back. You get two cup holders, which is very nice and convenient and a sun visor, all right? Oh, shiznit handles on the right and the left with your lighting in the middle, premium LED lighting 
and your vents right over your lap. Now let's go ahead and show you guys a kind of quick view of the XRT trim and show you guys that. So show you guys the XRT trim real quick. Now you don't have the Harman Kardon premium sound system. You don't have the memory seating buttons here. No heads up display, all right? And then you don't have the ventilated or the heated steering wheel. Ventilated seats, no heated steering wheel. This button, this parking button, if I go ahead and press it, it's just the rear camera, all right? And then up top, we have the one tilt and slide option sunroof, but you don't get that second glass back there. Take that into consideration. The seats, of course, look a little bit different, a little bit more lower grade on the XRT fill, or a little bit more rugged on that where the limit is a little bit more higher class on that feel, all right? But of course, this is the look of the XRT. Now, remember, you still get that kind of like uh, area here for like purses, you know, wallets, things of that sort, change chapsticks, a lot more personal pocket space. Going to go ahead and show you a quick view of the second and third row seatings on the XRT too. Now, second row seating of the XRT pretty much looks the same, just differences wanted to show you guys is no inverter, no heated and ventilated seats on the second row seating, but pockets, USB-C plugins, same exact idea on the seats when you're bunny hopping them forward. Let's go ahead and bunny hop that forward. Leg room and space is the same. And these are manual. So you're gonna pull this belt up. All right. And let's pull this belt up. Same idea. You do not get no USB-C plugins, no heated seats on the back, okay? So you're stepping down on the tech view of this car on the XRT trim. So remember, it's all about how much money you wanna spend and what exactly you want in your car. Now, as promised, we're gonna be dropping those MSRP stickers for the exact packages that you get on the, these cars. So here is the limited MSRP sticker with the price tag, all right? And then here is the MSRP sticker to the XRT with the price tag. You guys just take a little bit and take a look at those for your guys' um, knowledge. And we appreciate you guys uh, watching our video here at Vagabond Builds for supporting us. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Keep watching. We have more cool things coming. God bless you.